A new way to vacation just opened in Muskegon. Instead of staying in traditional hotels, travelers are opting for something cozier. Our Lauren Edwards has a closer look at the impact the Tiny Homes Hotel is making. This is one of the tiny homes here in Tiny Digs Lakeshore near downtown Muskegon. Very popular for vacation rentals. We just spoke with the owner, but also very popular to live in elsewhere. We are getting booked up. We have some events coming up in town, and uh, so those prime, prime weekends are starting to book up nicely. The tiny houses of Tiny Digs Lakeshore Hotel is quickly becoming the place to stay for folks visiting Muskegon. We offer tiny house short-term rental stays for people coming to Muskegon for maybe a, a little vacation or a, a staycation overnight getaways or a week-long stay to go to the beach. They opened in mid-June, says owner Pam Westra, and travelers have been staying for overnight getaways to week-long stays. Uh, people are very, very interested, and I that's one of the reasons why we brought this here to Muskegon. Uh, I think Muskegon will be a town that allows tiny house living eventually. She says that's the dream, to have Tiny Digs Lakeshore lead to additional tiny house living. People are, oh, do you rent these long term? No, sorry, not at this point. This is the beginning stage to getting it approved in the area and getting accepted in the area and bringing tiny houses to the Midwest. Because she says tiny house communities are popping up every Everywhere else in the country. They're an alternative to the housing options that are out there currently. And I think, you know, tiny houses, the, the original popularity of tiny houses kind of came out of the 2008 financial crisis. Zach Giffen, host of the old popular show Tiny House Nation, says over the years the demographics of the country have changed and affordability has been at the top of many home buyers and renters lists. There's a lot more people that are waiting longer to get married. Um, there's, uh, you know, divorce rates are, are up and just family size in general is smaller than it was in previous generations. What that means is housing stock that was built decades ago does not fit people's needs today. So tiny homes, he says, are the way to go. That's something Pam Wester is seeing as well. But people are really, really interested in a smaller footprint, uh, less maintenance and upkeep, uh, less expense. So once again, the tiny homes that you see here, the owner hopes will inspire other tiny communities to pop up throughout the state. Reporting here in Muskegon, Lauren Edwards, Fox 17 News.